Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tomislav Glubovic. I am the technical specialist for plant and infrastructure here at Autodesk Australia and New Zealand. Uh, and what we're going to be showing today as part of our YouTube series is a new feature that came in the latest extension one that was released for plant 2016 in the last couple of days, couple of weeks. Um, I, I just think it's very exciting now that we have a command that will convert a PCF into 3D pipe. Um, once you have the extension installed, you will see the PCF to pipe command up there in the ribbon and, and I'm just going to show you what happens when we do bring in uh, a PCF um, either from uh, Plant 3D itself or even from a third party PCF. So I've got both samples here and we're going to go through both of them. So uh, once you have it installed you'll see the PCF to pipe command up there in the ribbon. If we just select it uh, and I'm just going to go to my project here and just pick one of the sample ones that comes with Plant 3D. So we obviously don't have any issues with that. Um, what I will show you is in the next PCF file uh, there will be an issue with that and I'll just show you what happens and what you'll need to do. So if everything comes up okay then we can just click on the button there that says create piping. It'll go through the motions and then we've got an OK there. So we've got a couple of drips there, that's no big deal. We can just go through and sort them out at, at a later date. But you can see we've got um, our valves have come in, the welds have come in, the elbows have come in, uh, and there's no real issue there. So that's one PCF file. The second one is from a third party, so it's not, uh, it's not out of plant 3D, it has been exported from another plant package so this is just to demonstrate that if you are working inside Plant 3D yourself and you are dealing with uh, another company that is using something else uh, to translate the data you can just ask them for the PCF itself and then you can bring that into Plant 3D and modify it, add a new branch or just continue the, the modeling and design of that pipe run itself inside Plant 3D. So I've selected that third party PCF file there uh, and it comes up in the status that we need to substitute the spec. So um, because it is a third party, uh, I don't know what the specs are, so I'm just going to map them to some generic plant specs here. So I'm, I'm just mapping the spec inside the PCF spec 1. I'm going to uh, map it to Plant 3D CS150. Uh, and the second one here inside our third party spec is marked as spec 2 so I'm going to map it to CS300 just to show that there are two different specs in there so once I go OK to that I'm going to click on create piping and again the same thing Plant 3D is going to go through and do its thing you can look at the log file of this obviously yourself and see if there's any issues but there's our, our, our lines in there so again you can see here we've got the elbows in there we've got the welds we've got the pipe we've got the fittings we've got the valves there's a couple of disconnects in here, um, but again, nothing too major, nothing that we can't resolve with a little bit of manual interaction here. So um, there you go. In a nutshell, there, there's one of the new features in extension one, PCF to pipe. Uh, you can see on, on the screen here now, my details are there. If you want to get in touch with me, there's my email. Uh, if you need to as well, you can touch base with me on LinkedIn and we can go through this as a one-on-one -on -one for yourself or for the project that you're working on. Thank you.